Scheiter. Who the? It burns. What is this? It burns. For my master. Oh, God, I only. I just can't anymore.
Jackals too. <laughs> Better death. Read you loud and clear. Your man helped me. I mean you're dead, but why are you here? For five years nobody would come here save for Moon Eye by Lair. Kill. What do you know of the antennas near your lighthouse? There used to be a comm center before the war. My mother worked there. She was an officer. The facility is long abandoned. I went there after war to look for mom's traces, but found nothing. We'd better go now, before more of them arrive. Use the workbench if you need to fix something. There are all kinds of danger. A smart man wouldn't go there. You seem smart, but you do not have choice. Ready? No? Make haste then, we don't have much time. Before war, this place was beautiful. See, I was five then. My mom was young, alive. Now it's just desert. All the beasts changed into freaks. And the people became beasts. My people became chattel. Not by themselves. The oil dogs made them. The oil stayed even though the sea dried out. Old people died. Only the young remained. And they all obey their masters now. The Munai by Lair say they're gods of fire now. And the young believe. Five years after the war, my mother died. I was all alone.
I know how to open the door, so I've been there. But I never went deep. There are spiders. <laughs> See the passage? You go through. I'll follow. There's a narrow passage there. I'll stay here. Someone must keep the power going.
just finished moving into the old lighthouse. Staying with Gule in that hole any longer is out of question. New gas geysers keep sprouting daily. The whole bunker could collapse any moment now. There's nothing to hope for. Nobody knows why we are even here anymore. We certainly can't do any work. I only go down there for the pittance that passes for rations nowadays. I'd like to believe that it's safer on the surface, but who am I trying to fool? The people are famished. Every day brings news of new attacks and murders, ever more violent. All my thoughts are with Gyuru now. I can't believe this nightmare is the world she's going to live in from now on.
Jump us with lights still on. <laughs> things too. Keep rock me. Thank you, Artyom. This is for you. Father gave it to me when I was little. Damir says there's a little girl on your train. Give it to her. May it bring her luck. You people are lucky. Most of the Munai by Lara are raiding all their best troops. If they were all here, you'd be dead already. But now, we have a chance to change things. Ah, uh, Munai by Lair translates to something like oil-rich people. Oil drillers, I guess. Listen to me. I'll tell you where to go now. When outside, go right. The road there used to lead to the sea, to port. Anna should be around there. Contact her. She probably found something interesting. <laughs> I'll stay and try to find out more about these oil drillers. We'll contact the base as soon as I get any useful information. Tell me, Gul, how did this Baron come to power here? My people chose their fate themselves. What? Become slaves of their own will? Yes, they did. The Moon Knight by Lair told them they'd protect in exchange for their work, and they agreed. The Moon Knight by Lair told them to worship the Holy Flame, and they agreed again. Hmm. Well, they did not have much choice then. They had a choice. To fight. To fight and die, but not be slaves. Not everybody is ready for that. One must be ready. I'm always ready. And that is why you fight alone. <laughs> Even alone, I can get the Baron. 
Suppose you do get him. What next? I'll think of what to do once the Baron lies dead. Makes sense, I guess. You go, Artyom. Good luck to you. You should go, Artyom. We'll talk later.